Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Smart Suite Showcase. My name is Nate, and this series is all about giving you insights on how customers are using our platform based on the work our onboarding team has done this past week. We're going to be taking a look at how accountants are using Smart Suite to manage the services they offer in the form of a task management system and also a CRM. Let's dive right in. I'm in this account management solution that I have created based on the implementations we've been doing for accountants that are using our product. There are six relevant apps here. I'll focus mostly on the accounts, but I want to show you how each one of these apps for bookkeeping, payroll, and taxes work. We'll dive into a particular record so you can see what is happening with an account. We have the general information at the top, tracking the status of this account, which services you're providing for this account, who's in charge as the manager, what the frequency is of the bookkeeping. You may also want to include the frequency of other services you offer if that is relevant. And then we also have entity type, which can be used to determine which type of taxes you're going to be working with in the other apps. Moving down, we have the CRM type information for this particular account. And if we go down further, we have contacts for that particular account, which are kept in that other app. Moving down, we have bookkeeping, and this is linked to a bunch of bookkeeping records. What month they are, who they're for, what the status is, what percentage done you are with the tasks, and also the due date. We're using the expanded display to show these fields directly in this accounts app. And if we move down, we can see similar setup for the payroll and then also for the taxes. Moving down, we have the account management. So any notes about this particular account and action items. And this is a good way to have a task management for one-off tasks for a particular account. Moving down, we have opportunities. If you wanted to include your sales process in here where you're tracking new opportunities for clients that you could work with and some other metrics about them at the top here. And at the bottom, we have files, logos, attachments you need to include that are relevant to this account. Now that we understand a little bit more about the accounts record, let's move over to the services that accountants are going to be managing in Smart Suite. So first off, we have bookkeeping. Right now we are in this master bookkeeping list. We are grouping by the account. So we can see the relevant records of bookkeeping for each account. We have a status of the bookkeeping. We have tasks for this bookkeeping and the due date. Each one of these records represents a bookkeeping task for a particular period based on the frequency that is in the accounts. So for example, for account one here, we have monthly bookkeeping. Each record is gonna represent a month of bookkeeping for an account. And there's going to be a set of tasks that need to happen for each month for this particular account. You can have different sets of tasks in our checklist field here, depending on which month it is. So if a particular month has a quarter end to it, you may want to add a extra step to the particular checklist, and this can be done through our automations engine. If we scroll down here, we can see we also have account two's bookkeeping records, but instead of being tracked at a monthly level, we have it at a quarterly level. And then if we move down further, we can see we can also track it at annual levels too. The field that is denoting this is the bookkeeping frequency, and we can add this as a field display right here. This is being looked up from the accounts app. And it's going to tell us one, how many records are going to be created for that account per year. And two, what set of tasks are going to show up inside of our checklist through our automations. You may be wondering how these bookkeeping records got here in the first place. Well, you can set up an automation when an account is created and you have a particular service selected, you can create those records based on what the bookkeeping frequency is. So for example, if I have a new account here, and I want to provide a bookkeeping service for this account with a quarterly frequency. You could select bookkeeping in this multiple select and save it. As you can see, the automation is creating these records directly inside of this app here with the new dates. Link back to that same account with the status of statement in because that is the default status we have right now. These checklists are being filled. You can customize what this is saying. Here's the automation when the services has any of the bookkeeping and the frequency is quarterly, we're going to create the four records for this particular set of bookkeeping tasks with the checklist items. It's going to be linked back to that account as well. You could set up an automation for the different types of frequencies with the different set of values inside of the checklist. And then the way you'd work is as you're completing things throughout the year, you would go into the tasks. Look at the subtasks, you can check these off, you can assign them to people, enter due dates specifically for the subtasks. And then once this bookkeeping record is complete, or maybe it hits another status, you can update that here. You can have automations fired directly from the status record to send emails to your team. Maybe someone is in charge of a missing statement and reaching back out to your account. 
Each one of these records is also going to be a recurring task because it happens every single year. And depending on the way you work, you can set up automations to create new records in the future. Let me explain some of the examples. You could, when a status changes to complete for a specific bookkeeping record, create the next record for the next year. You can also use a formula field to create all the records at the very start of the year. So this formula field here is first checking to see if the accounts inside of the accounts app is active because you don't want to be creating records for inactive accounts. And the second part is looking to see if the due date matches this year. If it doesn't, it's going to return a zero. If it does, it turns a one, which means when it moves from one to zero, create a record for that next year. It's really up to you how you want to do this. Now I'm going to move on to payroll and taxes, but they operate very similarly in that you have a record for a particular period for that service linked back to the account. We have a checklist field that has a lot of the work in it. We have a status to noting where this particular service is at for this particular period. And then once again, you can create recurring tasks with the ways I've mentioned. Now we're going to finally move on to taxes. This is a little bit different in that you can have multiple types of tax forms that you're completing for your clients based on the entity type. And you'd likely have different sets of checklists for the different forms. So in the automation you set to create these records, you can say when the type is 1120, I want this set of checklists. Once again, you can have these be recreated at the start of the year, or you can have them fire based on a completion of a particular record and have it create a new record directly in here, like it's doing right now. And you can see we have a completely different set of checklist items from this particular set right here. And that would be controlled inside the automations. The reason why Smart Suite is really great for accountants is because you have those task management capabilities and then also the CRM capabilities where you can see all the work you've done for a particular accountant in one place in case you need to go back to a particular bookkeeping record for a particular month and see what the action was. Let's say we need to look at something for this particular account back in May. You can click on the record, see the information about it, what tasks you completed. And also if you look into the activity history, you can see who updated what, what time, and what was changed as well. And that wraps up this Smart Suite Showcase. Once again, if you have any recommendations for a future Smart Suite Showcase, feel free to leave that in the comment sections below. As long as with your questions, I'll make sure to answer. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.